This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Greetings and salutations viewers, Valdemar here with the finale of Sayuki. In the last episode, we thought we had destroyed all the barriers to finally beat down Osra and seal him, but unfortunately he had one last trickaroo up of his sleeve. He used his dark powers to summon us to the the dark the dark pits themselves to stop us from uh, from beating him. We must now put forth everything that we've uh, learned and earned together in this final confrontation. Take your take your most stalwart companions with you as you uh, fight the final boss. Now the now all uh, in this combat there are a couple of things. There's basically these arms right here which you can target if you want to. They basically all do a thing either attack magic whatever as well as him. So basically you're getting attacked on all sides by all people from what I remember. So the the con the, the thing about this fight is that really you want to just focus straight on Asura himself no one else so like just the head uh and he has like a lot of hp i think he has like i don't know like 3000 i think something like that so and we want to have basically both sides kind of covered while we bail on him and we want to stick together to heal so uh get your two best healers or even a third healer if you if you're so inclined and just start wailing on him really um i'm going with the tried original six so here we go Objective, defeat Ostra, the final battle. Let's begin. Hopefully we can survive. And basically we just need to group up and start wailing on him. Um, so it's a good idea to basically I, I'm having Kika take care of the these guys while I'm having Sanzo take care of the other. The reason for that is these guys will take more damage initially, but um, her group heal doesn't cost as much. And I can always have Sanzo supplementary uh, heal as well and stuff like that. So, all right, now let's see what my options are. Okay, I don't want to. I want to basically just start wailing on him because I don't want to. I want to get the these things started. Party start. Ooh, we're actually gaining experience now. Wow. All right, and the fact that uh, Riorin has also has side healing too next to Goku. Okay, so I want to have. I think I'll have Goku stay there because uh, Hakai will, uh, will take the spot of there. And I'm going to wear change with Hakai because Hakai actually has one of the strongest wear change attack spells in the game. Oh wow, we might actually gain some levels by the end of the game. I'll have to be careful about using wear for him though because of the. Uh, um, let's see, the attack would do a whole lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and winter. I'm gonna do cast a couple spells, but overall I'm mainly gonna attack him for because uh, I want to have I want to have a couple spells handy just in case. Yeah, see here we go. We're gonna basically we're gonna be attacked on all sides. There's like nothing we can do about that. Like I said, you could attack the arms, but I think they I don't know if they regen per se, but uh, um, they uh oh, what's the word um. It's almost pointless because you could just attack the head and kill him right before you kill any of the arms. So I think all the arms have a thousand each. So, I mean... I think when I first played this, I actually tried killing all the arms. I don't remember if I died at this boss or not. I remember I, I, I was... I gr grinded my levels as high as I could, I remember. Yeah, this is why you want kind of two separate groups, so one group will get attacked by the arms and another group one. If you all combine together, I mean, it'll just it'll just be kind of more of a pain. So. Hey, and everyone on this side is, uh, is uh, so if, if there are any status, uh, status ailment attacks, I won't have to worry about it too much. Alright, Sanzo. Sanzo. Or summon Sansa. So we'll summon Emperor so we can get a, a, a bit more. Uh, Mother would also be really effective in this combat, too, frankly. Um, so either one would be really good. Sansa's really not going to be doing a lot of attacking. Maybe every other turn or something like that. Really have to be careful with how much the hands do and what damage they can accrue uh, on the players. Here, I'm going to go ahead and wear change to Hogzilla here and uh, use his tusk ultimate tusk attack on a. On him. I think he got an extra will be heal. How can you miss? 
Kiko should have done that, because Gojo's almost dead already. And he should survive one more hit, but I, I will have to just straight up heal with the Kika next turn. Gods, maybe I should have Gojo go to the other side instead. Good. <laughs> Gods. Yeah, look at that. He's just throwing out all the stops to kill us. You know what I mean? Ow. Brave heart. Yeah, too bad you can't heal someone in the wear form. Basically, I'm just going to wear form until I get all of Hakai's strongest attacks out. Uh. Because I don't know how many hits he could take before I need to. I mean, he's got max HP, so, but still. Alright, I might need to side heal Gojo. So I might, uh, Reorn might just be doing the brunt of the damage for this side. Not that it matters, it's all cumulative anyway. Boom, nice. I don't think, I think there is a backside to his head, but he moves his heads, I think, during the combat. So it, it, it's a case of, well, uh, of, uh, it's a case of, yeah, he has a back to attack, but, uh, uh, it's, it's not worth it moving around trying to find his backside to hit. Yeah, good thing I did, yeah, since I only did one, uh, one animation per thing, so... It always silence good. Um, I think I want a group heal. I'll just use a cure potion on him next turn. So maybe I should switch the other sides. I didn't know Claw did a uh, did a silence. But because <laughs> because Goku and Sanzo are completely immune to that, so. But the side, the side that like isn't immune is the one that ha that has the side that has all the, uh, the status reflections. That would make sense. Right. Sanjo's pretty good. Um, I think I'll wait. If anything, Sanjo can take one turn of one turn of damage. Then I'll heal him. With Ultra Heal. Yeah, you know, like I said, the little buff from a uh, Emperor helps too. So. And talk about creepy music for the final boss. I like it, but I was kind of expecting also some epic music as well. Okay, so we got. We could do Ultra Tusk, does a lot. Or. See, that causes five, though. Okay, well, we'll do. Might want Maybe I should just do Ultra Tusk and keep doing that till uh, he runs out of MP. Or runs out of uh, gauge or whatever. Just because it'll... Let's see, I can do at least one, two... I can do it three times. So I think I'm going to do Ultra Tusk from now on. And just regularly attack him afterwards. Because he showed some resistance to that attack. So, And also I don't want uh, Hakai to uh, lose a ton of HP over, over the course of... Uh, Ice glare. Yeesh. <laughs> God damn it, Gojo. <laughs> I mean, gosh dang it. I was trying not to, uh... I guess I'm just kind of a life of... Man, I chose the wrong side for Gojo to be on, that's for sure. Because on the other side, he probably... Although, he might just do status ailments on all his attacks. Who knows, you know? Right, so keep well on him. Slowly but surely. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast life on uh, Gojo so he can uh, get cured of all the status on him. <laughs> Kiko does, is like, does not have to worry about anything really.
Yeah, I just got Ultra Tusk. It is regular Tusk. It's just not going to do enough, uh, enough to be worth it, really. Let's see. Yeah, you can do it like three times before. Oh, did he die? Oh. Well, good job, Gojo. You're awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to cast Group Field anyway because uh, Kika took some damage. It looks like it's going to be uh, Goku, uh, Hakai, and, and, and Sanzo for the win, I guess. I like Gojo's character, but he just doesn't have the defense. I was giving him, you know, as much as I could, and he still got taken out. Of the and, and the fact he was he was mainly being one targeted by everything. While on the other side, it's air attacker. They keep switching between who they attack. So I'll do. I don't need to ultra life, but I'm going to anyway, just in case. So I want to make sure I'm not uh, risking any what ifs. All right, next turn I'm going to magic potion. Man, go I can't believe Gosha got taken out. Although he was stunned and all this other stuff before, so it's not like we were gonna do anything. Right, let's go ahead and ultra tusk him. Yeah, and I can do that two more times, and then I'll do a regular tusk. <laughs> God, the ladies are getting just the lady side is just getting smacked. Yeah. Kika side may die too with how much focus they've been getting. I might just use potions on that. Is there a group? Of, well, no, she'll just life herself because Riorin seems to be doing pretty fine. So I'll just cast life on uh, Kika. So. I'm getting there. I actually haven't been counting, so I don't know how many more hits I need to do, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll just keep doing it. Goku and Hakai seem... Oh, I did it! Oh, with only one loss. That's not bad. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Is that all you got for, for beating you? Yeah, see, I would say this is probably the hard. I mean, even though I've lost characters in other fights before, I'd probably say this is actually the hardest boss of the or hardest encounter of the game is the final boss. Hooray! We did it. We beat Ostra. The game is complete. Now, time to sit back and enjoy the ending to Sayuki Journey West. That's it, folks. There's no other no other combat. I'm serious. No, I'm actually serious. There's no other combat. It's it's story and from here on out. You, bound by the bonds of hell, by the mercy of Buddha, be free of your chains. Praise the love of Lady Kinnon. Rid yourself of anger and greed. Rid yourself of fear and hate. Love and wisdom and purity. Embrace the endless blessings of truth. Give yourself to the purity and warmth of the light. Hey, Emperor even makes appearance even though he's completely optional. <laughs> I assume if he's not there, he's just ignored. At the, the, there's no mention of him at all. I have no idea what boy. <laughs> it still only has five lights. There are four lights! The ultimate seal. Goodbye, Asura. Your intentions were too were too egregious. We could not handle it. Yar And thus he has been sealed. Or at least the seal is starting.
husband. Those were all the souls he had captured. Ganon, tell Buddha I no longer wish to exist. I would rather be destroyed than be imprisoned here again. Asura, why do you not open your heart? Do you think me a fool? It is you who would not accept us. To you we were just devils. That is not true. It is you who would not forget that you were devils. While you clung so to the past, you could not obtain what which you truly sought. Free me. I wish to talk to Asura. Sanzo learned how to release people from the gym at some point. Not that that's that big of a deal, it's just kind of like, you know. Oh well, whatever. Can maybe told him off screen or something. Diva, how you must hate me. I am sorry it turned out like this. Do not punish yourself. I have never hated you. We chose our pain even when there was no need for it. Cannon, seal me in that gym as well. I wish to sleep. Apparently Osra just kind of gave in, really. Like, even after all... Well, I mean, he not just gave in, but I mean, after the fighting, he didn't even try to, like, just like, blow up or explode everyone. He just accepted it. He's just like, whatever. Thank you. Thank you for stopping us. And too bad the other care other NPCs aren't here. Which is weird because Taurus and Tessin are story based. They join you story based wise. Like there's no reason not to get them. And Ginray and Kinray join you story based wise too. They join you no matter what. Yet they're not here for the ending. That's kind of disappointing, really. Oh well, I mean it's not that big of a deal. It's just kind of like oh they could have said some had something to say at the end. It is finished. At last, all is finished. Yes. Now let us return. Yes. And thus we leave the pit and return to heaven or earth. Probably heaven first and then back to earth. Or the prime material plane. Depending on what uh, world you're... Depending on what world you're playing from. Purity Hall. Yep, we're back in heaven. Hey, everyone's alive. No one suffered or died except for the villains. Hooray! Alright, we've arrived. What? Where did these people come from? Heaven, right? They've been restored through the Lord Buddha's power. It's so different from before. It feels so good here. And it smells great, too. Sanzo, these are your parents. Even the parents are back! Everybody wins! It's so happy. What? Father. Mother. This truly is a rated E for everyone game. <laughs> oh, man. Not that I don't mind it. I mean, it's not like it was trying to be anything dark. So, The world has been saved because of all of you. I would ask you to join me and continue the work you have started. I cannot... I could never forget what I already have. Elder Home and my friends. Count me out. I'm not going to get stuck in this place. I already tried to attack it once. You know, you saw how that felt, uh, uh, ended up. I want to go back, go home, back to Dragon Palace. Do the rest, do the rest of you feel the same? So they don't even get Kika and Gojo any lines. Just kind of like, okay. Then it cannot be helped. Still, come forward. Lord Budu and the others would like to thank you. 
Lady Cannon. What will happen to Lady Gina? Will she be locked up forever? No, they will sleep for a time. When they have rid themselves of their doubt, they shall awaken as true guardians. Oh, I'm so glad. Let us go. Now we get to see what Buddha looks like. What variation of Buddha is he going to be? Is he going to be the fat, plump guy? Or is he going to be the, the skinny guy who meditates? Who knows? Gold Temple Garden. Oh, or we didn't get to meet Buddha and... Aw, oh, dang it. All right, fine. Jip us out of that game. This is Golden Temple. I'm home. So this is where you grew up? Yes, but come. I, shall, I must tell them that I have returned. Elder Omei, it's Sanzo. I've returned. He just runs us like, Ah, it's snowing! Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wrong movie. Sanzo, it really is you. You have returned to us. Yes, I've returned from India. I'm so glad you're safe. What the? Hey, Cannon, can you not use the door? Come on. Just because... Is it because you're a deity? Is it because you can't, can't use the door? Or you just have to teleport in like a gosh darn jack-in-the-box? Come on. Fine. Elder, it was Lady Cannon who brought us back from India. Oh, May, you have raised him well. Accept this in appreciation. What? Thank you very much. Why, this is the Holy Book of Dharma. Yes, the Lord Buddha was extremely pleased with Sanzo's service. This is from him. Sanzo's service? On our way to India, we stopped a lot of monsters from doing harm. Sanzo, aren't you going to... Goku, that's the past. I'm, a true Buddhist does not linger on his accomplishments for very long. Elder, these people are my friends. They went to India with me. Without them, I never would have made it. May they stay with us for a time. Is that so? Well, of course. They can stay as long as they like. I shall return now, but I will be watching over you. Farewell. Thank you very much, Lady Cannon. Hey, Cannon. I'll come play again sometime soon. Goku... For, for Goku, that's really an improvement. And he did try to attack Heaven by himself, by the way. And there she goes, not using the door. Please come inside. It's a small temple, but we'll do our best to make you feel welcome. Great, my mouth is water already. I still think it has an accent down by the end of the game. Is it Southern? Is it Australian? Who knows? When I'm involved. And now we have happy-go-lucky meal times. Hooray! All's well that ends well. We save the world, and all that all that ends is to enjoy... Hey, there's Taurus right over there in the corner. Hey, they make an appearance at least. Sanzo, I must leave now. What? But we just got here. What? You're not being very sociable. I don't want to get too used to this place. I might like it too much. Master Gojo, you can't stay. You can stay as long as you want. Don't say that. It only makes it harder to leave. I'm wonder the wondering type. So please, just smile and let me go. Hey, the two girls. Gojo, you're le Gojo, you're leaving. Then we'll go with you. He's like, no, I don't want two annoying kids following me. Why don't you just stay and enjoy yourselves? How cruel. If you leave, who's going to take us home? Oh, yeah, they have to go up sometime. Master Gojo, they like you. Take them home. All right. I am thankful for them, too. After all, they were part of this. Farewell. Be happy. You, too. I'll come visit again sometime. Yeah, I said I didn't use them. There's... A 
They have a unique mechanic in the game I never really utilized. They have a uh, an attack called Arrow Strike that Kenray has. Is if she's facing an opponent and Genray shoots that opponent with an arrow, and as long as she's facing him, she'll actually do damage. And it does like I don't know if I showed it on screen, but it does like either double damage or like times a half. It's it's a crazy combo, which makes them a solid team, but not enough to be worth it. I think in the end, but you know, they they had a bonus there anyway. We'll come visit too when I've grown into a beautiful woman. Keep an eye out for me. Whoa. Don't rock the cradle, Sanzo. Sanzo, someday I too shall return. Someday. Okay, let's go, Gojo. I want you to meet my parents. Uh, Gojo, maybe you have to worry about what's going on in the future. What? Hey, don't pull on my sleeve. And there they go. The twins and Gojo. Ha ha ha. They look like a happy family, and for all your complaints, Gojo seems to be having fun too. Hey, Taurus and Tessa. Hey, wake up. Gojo is going home. Oh, he's drunk. <laughs> Leave me be. So what? Who cares if he's going home? I wanted to travel with him. What do you mean? You've got a child, for heaven's sakes. What are you thinking? What? Hey, when I was single, I was some kind of hot. Wow. Well, uh, from her portrait, I would agree with her, actually. If you hadn't started crying, I would have never have married you. Really? He cried to make her marry him? If I want to talk to a handsome man every once in a while, so what? Quit your quarreling, and you shouldn't say stuff like that in front of your son. What? My dear, were you listening? Hey, pups, let me out of here already. Oh, I guess it's okay. All those devils are gone now, anyway. Oh yeah, he was in the charm the whole time. <laughs> that must have been annoying for a for a, 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 a kid like him, being so hyper. He's like, no, oh, come on, Mr. Sunzo. I'm sorry for causing such problems. That's all right. Now that you know the truth. All right. So now we can all be one big happy family. Goku, you should get to marry too. That is, if you can find someone to marry you. <laughs> Don't be foolish. You think I want to turn out like you? Hey, Tessa's kind of hot. I mean, even with her short temper, you know. We're going home now, too. All my underlings will be worried about us by now. Come by and visit once in a while. Of course we will. I'll even bring you something. Because it's not like Taurus just takes all the beatings from Tessa. He gives as good as he gets. You know, they both yell at each other, so it's like an Irish family. Oh, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. But they seem to care about each other. I think it's passion that keeps them together, if anything. Akai, what do you want to talk about? Um, would it be alright if I stayed here with you? What? Of course. You didn't have to drag me all the way out here to ask me that. Well, I wasn't sure what to do if you'd said no. You knew that wouldn't happen. Everyone here knows you're a great guy. Since they let me stay here, uh, they've let me stay here ever since they found me. I'm sure they let you stay too. Hey, Genshi. The guy, it looks like you found your place at last. I think I was gonna try Sean Connery in, but I uh, can't really do that. Teacher, this time it's gonna work out. Um, I meant to take you home with me, but it's better this way. Now, yeah, keep the old man voice. Mm, I meant to take you home with me, but it's better this way. Master Kai, you're staying here? I would like to lie too, but my little sister's waiting. Well, that's right, she had like three little sisters or something like that. True, there are people waiting for you, aren't there? But I'll, I'll be sure to come visit if you if I come, will you see me? Of course, and I'll be sure to come visit also. We cannot stay. It might get too difficult to leave. Please, take care. And I'll be sure to come visit as well. Um, if you don't have Genshi on your team, I think it's just Kika talking about how she needs to go or something like that. But, uh, but if you, uh, uh, you can actually not get Genshi if you... When you recruit him, if you say certain things, like uh, if you try to steal from the tree, and if you say you depend on on uh, on your on depend on him or something like that, then he decides not to join you, and he says, "Well, good luck," you know, all that stuff. So. I know my teacher; he'll be back here tomorrow. So 
So does Akai just laugh so hard he cries? Is that why? Because he has a cry animation like almost every other <laughs> every other time. So, you decided to make up with your father? Yes, last time we fought, but maybe now we'll be okay. Rior and I'll be really sad to see you go. But I'm so glad you plan to make up with your father. Yeah, I guess I've grown up a little. Maybe we can talk this thing out calmly. True, I'm sure your father will understand. Where's Re I was about to say, where's Prince Rakin? Princess, let me go with you. Fine, but you're not to say anything about marriage. Actually, I haven't given up. Not yet. True love cannot die. But if you don't want me, I won't force myself upon you. But, but... Okay, okay, I got it. Just keep quiet. Don't say strange things to father. <laughs> Is that going to work? If you say something weird, I'll wrap you up and throw you away. Will you take him in then? <laughs> Princess, I'm devastated! Now, yeah, laughing at this poor man's expense. Now, you did stalk a woman who didn't want to be stalked, so I don't know. Hey, can I come and visit once in a while? What are you worried about? Come whenever you like. Oh, I knew that. I knew that. Sanzo, take this bell. If you ever want to come to the palace, just ring it in a river. I think I've heard that uh, that myth before. I think they make mention of it in, uh, oh, that one animated feature. What's it? Spirited Away. I'll hear it and come and get you. Thank you. We'll be sure to come. Hey, where's Goku? Ryoan is leaving. Yeah, he's just so sorry to see me go. He's probably off crying somewhere. And then she just starts bawling. Will, will we always be friends? Always? Of course, we'll be friends forever. Sorry, I didn't mean to cry. See you later. Goodbye. And like I said, if you don't if you don't get Prince Raiken, he I uh, mean she the same thing pretty much happens, just the scenes where where him and uh, her react to them is in the ending. So did she go? Goku, what were you what were you hiding for? We were looking for you. Oh, she's just so loud. You mean you were just sad to see her go, right? Yeah, you two did fight the most. I'm surprised there's not more shipping pictures of you online somewhere. Actually, there probably is. I just haven't looked. Don't be ridiculous. Akai, sorry, but could I speak to Sanzo alone? Goku, see ya. Come and see us again. Goku, you're leaving too, aren't you? Yeah, I thought I'd visit my home world for a while. Homeland, I mean. Where is that? It's called Flower Mountain. It's across the Eastern Sea. I'd take you with me, but then I'd have to feed Hakai as well. Goku, come visit. I'll be waiting. Ha ha ha! I'll be here so often you'll want to ask me to leave. Sanzo, I'm glad I met you. I've never been afraid before in my life. But thinking about you or the rest of them getting killed, well, it was painful. I don't really understand this, but it doesn't feel like a bad thing. Hmm. But what are you going to do? Are you going to stay here as a priest? Me? Hmm, maybe. Or, hmm, maybe I'll just start a new journey. Said that all wrong. We had defeated the powerful Asura. We had saved the world. And it still seems like a dream to me. All of the pain we felt. All of the fun we shared. All of it had 
has been carved deep into my mind, leaving only memories. But they are not memories. Them I will never forget, not even for a day. They are more important to me than anything. They are my friends. This was our journey. If ever someone should read this memoir, I beg you to remember us, my friends and I, as we were on our journey west. Boom, name drop, boo! And that's it, Sayuki Journey West. Well, what a journey that was. Oh, oh, so many episodes ago, we started this journey of Sanzo as a priest, traveling through, gathering friends, and finding out that he's a child of heaven, and he must defeat one of the highest forms of devil, Oster himself. But we won, and we saw our happy ending. Oh, man. By the way, the ending is slightly different if you're a female Sanzo instead of a male Sanzo. Like, I think Gojo and Akai, like, I think they're, they kind of have feelings for you during that, but it never, never goes anywhere with that. But, the, the, like I said, some of the scenes change and stuff like that. But overall, not a huge difference, you know, but, uh, but slight modifications. Anyway, so what can I say? Uh, I actually like this game quite a bit. As a, as a strategy RPG, it's just long enough and interesting enough to be fun to replay, even if you want to play as a, as a female Genjo or Sanjo, however you want to call him, or him or her. Um, the music was very solid. Most pieces worked for it. Um, I, sadly, it's not enough, I would say, super remember, but I but it, it works just well enough to, to set the mood and get me interested and get me hyped up for battles and stuff like that. Uh, graphically, it works well for the PlayStation era. I think this came out near the end of the PlayStation era, so it wasn't as pixely as it could be, and I had cool little animation sequences, you know, uh, unique uh, reactions to characters and the art and stuff like that. Um, gameplay was also very solid. Uh, I like the fact that up until the end of the game, they really tried to uh, utilize like unique mechanics for each fight for a while, you know, like placement, rocks. Uh, traps, stuff like that. It's kind of sad that by the end of the game, it basically just kind of turned into a uh, kind of a combat fest, like just take everything out and not worry about your environment. Except for, you know, the final fight where you had to, like, turn off those uh, crystals or whatnot. But, um, but yeah, I mean, they tried. I mean, the game wasn't hard. wasn't too hard. Uh, I mean, it could have been harder, probably, but uh, I was fine with the difficulty, really. Um, if you had gone at base level, it might have been like a, a smidge more harder, but, uh, but yeah, I think the difficulty was fine for what it was. Um, just hard enough at times, or challenging, but not not like ridiculously difficult. So yeah, that's that's the end. Uh, I really enjoyed this game uh, a bit. Uh, yeah, and it goes back to the credits. I probably should have uh, should have ended my commentary there, but I thought I, I wanted to get a, a bit more wording out. So yeah, uh, liked all the characters. Uh, there was a lot to do with like the post missions and stuff like that. Uh, upgrading your weapons, different types of spells, strengths, weaknesses, you know. Uh, I liked how the post missions kind of gave you a little bit side information. I know I didn't show those on screen, unfortunately, but it'll give you a reason to buy Sayuki. It's like, I think, like, what, 10 bucks on the PlayStation Store right now? So it's kind of glad that's, like, one of those few games that was remembered from the archives of PlayStation history, and now anyone can enjoy it. Like I said, it's not the greatest strategy RPG, because there's not, at a point some strategy kind of gets left out and you don't really need it but you can do as much as you want with this game and it's a very solid game for what it is i would give it uh if i had to give it a rating i would give it a a a, a, a solid seven out of ten very very solid title maybe not for everyone but it kept me just interested enough uh, there wasn't really any slow bits uh, like I said, liked all the characters of the game. Uh, you know, the story was story was straightforward, but it it did it wasn't kind of like oh whatever you know kind of thing. It was it was interesting enough, and the villains were interesting enough too. They weren't just straight out evil to be evil, you know. And it's always more interesting when they're not that. So, 
Well, with that out of the way, Sayuki is done and finished. I really enjoyed playing it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, buy it yourself if you liked it. Maybe even play as female Sanzo and see what the alternate, uh, like alternate uh, dialogue and stuff is with characters by choosing that. So, so with that out of the way, this game is done. I'm finishing up, putting it back in the file, and so next time I'll play another game. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you whenever I put a disc in the system again. Thanks again.